the current state of Overwatch 2 is, in my opinion, the worst the game has ever been in. On top of all the issues with PvE and player progression, PvP is currently experiencing the worst meta we've had since launch. Today, we're going to talk about the issue of counter swapping and why it's currently ruining the game. When the developers first announced that heroes would be locked behind the battle pass, players were justifiably upset. People complained that the game would become pay to win because new characters are always meta defining and not having them would become a huge problem. The developer response to this was to say that it was okay because free to play players could level up their battle pass to get these characters for free. But this wasn't the only thing that they said. Just take a listen to this clip from a Stylosa video. One of the big differences with 5v5 combat is that we've tuned a lot of the heroes in the game and we've made changes to reduce the amount of hard counters that Overwatch has. We want players or people to have more impact, but we also want them to have more freedom in what hero they're choosing for any particular situation. Wow, Blizzard, that's a really good idea. Honestly, I'm a big fan. But um, quick question, <clears throat> what happened? It's been a year since this video was made and we can see by their current balance direction that they are actively trying to make counter swapping stronger. Think about Cassidy, who basically got his stun back, except it disproportionately affects mobility heroes even more than the old version since characters without movement abilities aren't even affected by the main debuff. Additionally, think about how the balance team has handled Orisa and Zarya. After gigabuffing Orisa three times in a row, she has become far and away the most powerful tank in the game. From this point, the team could have gone with two main options. One option would be to make Orisa headshotable while in Fortify. This change would allow other tanks like Junker Queen and D.Va to have a better matchup against her while still allowing Zarya to be a good option if the enemy tank enjoys playing Zarya. The second option is to apply a band-aid nerf that hardly changes anything and giga buff Zarya, forcing tanks to either mirror Orisa or go Zarya with absolutely zero other options. I wonder what option they went with. What the hell? I genuinely don't understand changes like this because it is unironically fun for nobody. People don't like feeling forced to play a certain character just because the enemy clicked three buttons in their spawn. I know this feeling well because I play Doomfist and the second I quake on a DPS player like their dad does after an afternoon of heavy drinking, there's a 99% chance that that player will do something unthinkable. No, don't pull. No. Ah! I will still never understand why the devs make claims like, we will remove hard counters just to completely reverse them once people seemingly forget they ever made that promise. In my opinion, I think the devs were just lying to us to try and calm the anger at new heroes being locked behind the battle pass, and I will never forgive them for that. Also, I haven't even touched on healing creep or the fact that there's like four different turrets that need to be broken before anything can even start to die. I feel like if these issues don't get addressed soon, people will start getting tired of Overwatch's BS and just switch to a different game. Because seriously, the game is just not fun for most people right now, and I don't even think that's like a bad take. Almost everybody I play Overwatch with on the regular is pissed off at the game at all times and is playing it much less than they used to. Alright, I think I've complained enough. Now let's move on to some good news. Fixing or at least alleviating this issue is pretty simple. Most hard counter picks are strong because of one or two aspects of their kit, like Orisa not being headshotable in Fortify, or Sombra's hack just disabling for too long. All the devs have to do is change one or two mechanics of a few characters and boom, the biggest part of the issue is solved. And speaking of Sombra, her rework that's coming up for Season 7 looks to be a big step in the right direction for her kit so at least we have that to be excited for. All of this is just my opinion, and I encourage you to share yours in the comments, because I'd like to know if you guys agree or disagree with my points and why. I'll definitely be making a video when Season 7's balance changes drop, so subscribe if you want to hear me rant about all that. Until then, have a nice day, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace!